Hi water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we are going to find out what kind of person were you in your past life. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. Today is the 31st of March, 2023. Time here in Milan, Italy is 1 p.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. If you were divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same signs. All right, now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Who were they in your past life? Please bear in mind that this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with each and every one of you. There'll be a lot of details in this reading. Two swords at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. These swords, these two swords for me indicates that you you were somebody very intelligent, okay? And also you held a position that was very powerful, I would say. You had some sort of an authority. And the Hierophant here for me indicates a lot of people respected you ask you for advice um they also fear you for some reason if you look at the king of swords um now that i'm looking at his face doesn't matter he or she is not gender specific but even if you are a female now in this life in this lifetime in your past life you were a male okay you were a man <laughs> you were a man you were not a woman even if you're a woman now okay so you were a man and I think a lot of people feared you. A lot of people respected you as well. Um, you, you held a certain position that was very powerful, okay? I would say that you were also somebody very religious. You um, were very strict. You follow the books. Um, you play by the rules. And you definitely no BS, no nonsense. Very straightforward, I would say you were honest, again, intelligent. Look at these keys here. You could have held the key or a key or keys to either knowledge or a building. Um, like you held a key. It could be metaphor, uh, metaphorically, or it could be a little key. Like you are the key, or you were the key person, okay? I also see you used, you used to, um, in your past life, you used to give speeches. You would stand in front of the crowd, in front of people, and you would say something, and people would listen to it. Okay, you could either be, be you could have been a teacher, or it's not a really, some of you maybe you were a teacher, but not really, I feel like it's, higher than that, bigger than that, which way more powerful than that. I'm not saying that teacher's not powerful, but like you held a certain position that was really, really powerful, okay? And people would listen to you and you would give speeches, you say something and people would bite you. People would even like bow to you, okay? Some of you, you could have been a knight, you could have been a king, because this is a king, king of swords. If you were a king, um, yeah, people fear you, you know? used to fear you or that they respect you you would have you you know the king of swords you may have ordered you may have killed some people ordered some people to be killed okay because you thought that was the right thing to do we've got the page of swords here you had a teenage child who looked exactly like you um could be a boy most likely it's a boy Look exactly like you, following your footsteps. Very, very good looking son. Okay, and six of cups here. This, your son was your Achilles heel. Um, the only person you would be very kind towards. 
I'm not saying that you're not kind to everybody else, but felt like you were like you had a duty, like like part of your job. If you were a king or a knight or a king or a knight, it feels like you had to put this mask on this persona where you couldn't smile and you need needed people to respect you because of your position. Okay, but when it comes to your child, some of you have one one son like a teenage son and you also have one more who's like younger um by a few years old okay six of cups this is the only time where you would be basically yourself showing kindness love care and i would say that you were a very caring kind parent to your child to your children okay See, most, see, look at the Knight of Pentacles. Most likely you were a king and you have ordered like a knight to be killed in your past life, okay? Maybe because this knight was not loyal to you, has done something wrong. And uh, Page of Swords, your son was your spy as well, okay? Or you had a spy whom you whom you regarded as like your own son. Okay, we've got the world here. We've got the Wheel of Fortune and our first. See, either I keep getting this where you see how the world, you were married, you were a, you were a man, you were a king, and you, you married somebody um a woman who was blonde her hair was blonde very very sexy beautiful body curvaceous body and i feel like a lot of people were very envious of you okay you would travel but Ah, this is what I'm getting here. You travel to another country. Your, your bride, your wife, your queen is actually from another country, okay? Or another, it's like another place where you had to go and travel and bring her back to your country and you married her then, okay? Oh, this is interesting. And the lovers here, lovers. You are very funny thing is, you know, usually kings have many like concubines or wives, but you are completely, completely loyal to your queen. Very loyal to your queen. You don't allow, it, it also were very strict. You don't tolerate cheating. This is very weird. Three of Wands here is in love first. I keep getting like you marry someone from like you got someone like your wife is from another country and you've ordered, you've also ordered the Nine of Pentacles. Maybe this Nine of Pentacles in love first was hitting on your wife and you got him killed, okay? <laughs> this story is kind of interesting. Two of Swords here. Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, and one first. You had people working for you. You had people, um, you don't, you, you know, doing things for you, like those chores, um, people making food for you. Like you're the king, you were the king, right? And the two of swords, you don't even have to. Uh, another thing I'm getting here is that someone has tried to poison you in your past. Look at the... Uh, this is someone jealous here. Queen of Wands in love first. Try to either poison you or poison your wife here in the past, okay? And this is someone who actually works in the castle or works very closely to you or to your wife. That's what I'm seeing here. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting read. Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. I hope you resonated. Or if you didn't, you wouldn't have resonated because you wouldn't know who you were in your past life. But 
If you enjoyed this reading, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Kindly subscribe to both of my channels, Chelsea Love Tarot and Chelsea Tarot 2.0. Chelsea Tarot 2.0 is my second channel. It's a, uh, it's a channel where I only post individual sign readings. While Chelsea, Tarot, uh, Chelsea Love Tarot, this channel, I post both individual sign readings and collective readings, and I post way more often on this channel than on the other channel, okay? And don't forget to hit on the bell notification button if you like to be notified every time I post your videos. All right, take care. Hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Bye.